Rap beefs we forgot about. Feud in rap usually attracts a lot of attention, and it's not hard to understand why. Beef is almost entirely unique to rap. You won't catch two rock groups penning tracks that explicitly call each other out by name and offer a concise list of grievances. A good rap beef literally feels like you're peeking behind the curtain of your favorite rapper's life and the drama that makes it up. For that reason, some of hip-hop's most famous moments are feuds. But occasionally, a beef arises that is so trivial, bizarre, or just plain boring that it fades into obscurity and is forgotten. In some cases, the involved artist just outright got bored and dropped the issue. And even though these beefs never make it to the Hip Hop Hall of Fame, some were entertaining enough to be worth revisiting. So let's take a trip into the corners of our mind and dust off some rap history that we almost forgot about. Before we start, make sure you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now here's 8 rap beefs that we forgot about. Number 8. Kodak Black vs. Lil Yachty Back in 2016, Kodak Black and Lil Yachty were fresh faces to the rap game. Kodak was just starting to see success from his feature on French Montana's hit Lockjaw, and Yachty had just dropped his debut mixtape Lil Boat, quickly followed by his feature on Dram's Broccoli. The rappers come from completely different spheres. Kodak's rough-and-tumble upbringing on the streets of Florida starkly contrasted Yachty's bubblegum rap and his suburban boy-next-door image. But Broccoli roped the two into a feud when Kodak took shots at Yachty and Dram, claiming that he had coined the term broccoli, and the two were out of line for using it. But Yachty, known for his likable personality and charm, was quick to respond and surprisingly give Kodak credit. Yachty claimed before every performance of the song that he would shout out Kodak for introducing the slang onto his track No Flockin', and that he has no desire for beef since he doesn't even smoke. This issue quickly died down, and many speculated that Kodak was only bitter because of the track's mainstream success, and the way it quickly boosted Yachty career. Number 7. Tory Lanez vs. Royce to 5'9". During the early stages of his career, Tory Lanez was known for his hot temper and his affinity for starting beef with as many rappers as possible. Most famously, Tory was known for his repeated attempts to spark a feud with fellow Toronto rapper Drake, who Tory felt did not offer him enough support despite Drake's proclaimed love for Toronto musicians. Tory maintained his fiery disposition in 2018 when Royce to 5'9 claimed that Joyner Lucas won against Tory in a light-hearted rap battle. Tory was quick to criticize Royce, claiming he was out of touch with rap and that's why his career, quote, looks the way it does. Tory's quips were enough to anger Royce to the point of a physical threat, claiming that Lanes was getting a pass because he was new. But further provocation would lead to Royce teaching him a lesson physically. Tory would go on to delete his tweet, but claimed it was out of support for Lucas, who, quote, did his thing and not from fear of retribution from Royce. Luckily, the two let the beef die from there, and no hands were thrown. But, uh, hypothetically, who do you think would win in a one-on-one, -on -one, Royce or Troy? Let me know in the comment section. Number 6. Future vs. Young Thug Future and Young Thug have what could be described as a complex relationship. The men who are close friends now have a variety of collaborative tracks together and allegedly even have each other's name tattooed on their bodies. But before they were getting BFF Inc. and riding bikes together on tropical islands, the two had a rocky relationship that started way back in 2015. Despite a close working relationship with Metro Boomin, Thug was apparently triggered by Metro's 2015 claim that Future started the trend of releasing a series of mixtapes rapidly over the course of little time. Thug lashed out at Metro on Twitter, which caused Future to weigh in, accusing Thug of wanting to be like him. The beef went back and forth for a handful of tweets, but seemed to die down until 2016. When Future announced the release of new music at midnight in promotion for his project Evil, Thug made a thinly veiled subtweet that reignited their beef. The two rappers traded insults, with Thug ultimately implying Future relied on the support of his Apple Music deal to stay relevant. Both rappers let the feud die. We'll never truly know how the boys went from subtweeting each other to best buds in a tattoo parlor, but we're thankful they did. Otherwise, we'd never have the delightfully weird track Supmate from Thug's album So Much Fun. Number 5. Trippy Red vs. Slim Jimmy A fistfight between Trippy Red and Ray Schremer member Slim Jimmy seemed like something out of a modern-day celebrity deathmatch, but apparently it actually once happened. The two's rivalry started in 2019 when Slim Jimmy announced his departure from Ray Schremer and the end of the duo. Trippy was quick to fire back that, quote, he finally figured out we only listened to Sway's part. This understandably annoyed Jimmy, who tweeted that the 19-year-old Trippy should stay in a child's place. The two traded 
tweeted explicit shots at each other via Snapchat and Instagram, but allegedly the two managed to move their feud into the real world during Rolling Loud in 2019. Though reports have never been resolutely confirmed, the series of tweets all corroborate that the two got into a fist fight backstage at the festival, and a poor quality video appears to back up that claim, showing Trippy taking swings at a figure that looks suspiciously like Slim Jimmy. Whether the claims were true or not, it seems like the boys decided to end their feud around the same time, as they have not interacted online or publicly since then. Number 4, Meek Mill vs 50 Cent When it comes to beef, Meek Mill is best known for his blowout with Drake that led to accusations of Drake using ghostwriters. However, before this, Meek was involved in a beef with G-Unit founder and notorious online troll 50 Cent. In 2015, Meek reposted a clip of 50 Cent pushing over G-Unit member Tony Yayo, captioned with crying emojis. 50 seemed to take this as a diss and made a threat against Meek's crew, possibly referencing his affiliation with Rick Ross, a long-term and highly public rival to 50. Shortly after, immediately following the release of Drake's Meek Mill diss, Back to Back, 50 took to the stage to publicly support Drake. Angry, Meek took a variety of shots at 50 on the song Gave Him Hope, in early 2016 making homophobic remarks against 50 and accusing him of being a rat. Though it looked like the beef was starting to heat up, 5th took to social media to clown Meek rather than respond. 50's trolling led to a series of back and forths between the two rappers, including a challenge from Meek to donate to the the Flint water crisis, and 50 exposing Meek with a video of the rapper praising 50 Cent. Though the beef eventually fizzled out, it appears the two rappers are still on unstable terms and do not interact. Number 3, Drake versus Joe Budden. As one of the biggest rappers alive, Drake is a frequent target for criticism. Despite spending his early career mostly avoiding any explicit feuds in favor of subtweets and subliminal disses, Drake began to embrace confronting his enemies in the mid-2010s. Joe Budden, a former rapper and host of the very popular Joe Budden podcast, has been vocal in his criticism of Drake, along with well, every other new rapper as well. But before they entered an on-again, off-again feud, the two actually started as friends. Drake has openly voiced his respect for Budden, but in 2016, Joe Budden took to his podcast to claim that Drake's album Views was uninspired and Drake has failed to progress. Drake never explicitly responded, but took some subliminal shots at Budden on the 4PM in Calabasas freestyle, which surprisingly was reviewed positively by Budden, who credited himself for managing to get Drake sound inspired. But Budden wasn't done. He quickly released a track called Making a Murderer Part 1, which directly targeted Drake, criticizing him for everything from ghostwriting allegations to his perceived lack of progress. Budden's diss did not garner much mainstream attention, and he tried to pump up his publicity by quickly releasing two subsequent disses. Drake stayed silent, but eventually criticized the rapper on stage, dismissing the disses and his career. Though Budden urged Drake to fire back with a legitimate diss track, Drizzy resisted and apparently his diffusing strategy worked. The beef died down, and recently the two were seen joking around through the comments of an Instagram live feed. Number 2, Soulja Boy vs Lil Yachty Lil Yachty could be the subject of a video called Rappers Dragged Into Beefs They Never Asked For. After diffusing his beef with Kodak Black, Yachty escaped any other significant drama until 2018, when Soulja Boy remembered he needed to do something to get attention. Seemingly unprovoked, Soulja posted a photo to Instagram in which Yachty asked the rapper to remove a photo of himself and model India Love from his account. Soulja Boy immediately saw this as asking for beef, targeting Yachty on social social media, and even posting text messages from India that claimed her and Yachty had never met. Yachty, not as keen to lay this beef to rest as he was with Kodak, wore a ripped Soldier Boy shirt to a performance at Malaluna Festival and spit some bars against Soldier. After claiming that Yachty cried to him on the phone, Soldier was proven wrong when Yachty leaked a phone call in which Soldier Boy explicitly apologized to him for the beef. This very uneventful beef wrapped up with Soldier trying to play off the entire feud, claiming that he was grumpy because because he had run out of weed and lean. And yes, we think this is just as weird as you do. Number 1, Offset vs Lil Uzi Vert Migos and Lil Uzi Vert both received massive boosts to their career after the unexpectedly massive success of the song Bad and Bougie. And when people working closely together are exposed to a sudden increase in money, fame, and power, it's not uncommon for tensions to get high. So it's not surprising that Lil Uzi Vert found himself in a feud against Offset. It was shocking, however, to discover that the beef was not over anything we just mentioned. It was over religion. After Offset criticized the rapper 
stripper for donning iced out chains that featured inverted crosses. Uzi took to social media with a drawing of a smiley face with an inverted cross and explicitly tagged Offset. The two traded a few insults back and forth on the post. However, it seemed like perhaps their disagreement was not that deep because shortly after Migos posted a tweet claiming that the group had just gotten off the phone with Uzi and more music was coming. While it's unlikely we'll never recapture the magic of bad and bougie, it's good to know some of our favorite rappers can put their beliefs aside to make absolute bangers. So are you surprised that you forgot about any of these rap feuds? Let me know in the comments section. And before you leave, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to our channel.